Okay, I'm sure it's recording. Oh, I don't have the, there we go. Okay, so here we go. We got a triangle here. Let's just draw it, see what happens. So ABC is that. Okay, so I'm gonna make angle B kind of small. I'm, I'm totally guessing how this looks, I don't know. We'll see. So 16.8, 22 Um, actually, I'm not sure why I did that. Hold on a sec. No. Um, actually, let me back up a little bit, guys. I'm going to too carried away here. Sorry about that. I don't know why I did that. We'll see this, guys. Um, Let's see that first. Yeah, we'll see that first. Okay. So that's H. Okay. Well, if you think about it, what's that angle going to be right there? What do you guys think? That's kind of tucked away there. And I'll call this D, by the way. What would angle D, C, B equal, guys? Good. 68 degrees. 100% correct. So 68 degrees. Very good. Okay. How would I solve for H? Just using basic Sokoto rules. How would I solve for H? Sine 22 degrees equals what? H over what? What's the hypotenuse? Put this triangle right here. Good. Perfect. Good. Excellent. And I'll solve for H. Okay. Um... I left my calculator in my other room. I don't feel like going back there again. I do have an online one here. Okay. Clear. Sign 22. Oh, by the way, I have to be in degree mode. Told you we had no place for radian mode in this unit. Times 22.42. Yeah, you get 8 point, we'll say 8.4. We'll just kind of round it a little bit. So 8.4. So you got the height. Okay, cool. Um, now we need to figure out um, the base. And I kind of, I, I could do it. Sh shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so this is 8.4, right? So you got this now, 8.4, Okay, and we'll call it say um, X and Y. How would I solve for X and Y? What would I do guys? Pythag. We'll see Pythagorean theorem, right? Okay, so my height is 8.4. And I need my base, right? My base is going to be x plus y. Right? Because remember, you guys, what, what's the area triangle? You guys remember? Area triangle is what? One half? So my base is this, right? <clears throat> or you can choose any side of your base. It's, it's up to you. I um, committed to this in your base. So therefore, that's the height. All right, I got it. We're good. We're halfway there. Let's get the um. Let's get the and the base is x plus y. It's just that. And let me erase some of the stuff here. It's getting a little too busy. And I probably could do this a little differently, but I just feel like doing it in this manner. Um. 
Okay. So solve for x and y. So I'm using a trusty calculator, which is right here. So I'm going to do 16 point, let's see over here. Sixteen point eight squared minus eight point four squared. Gosh darn it! Okay, let's try it again. Sixteen point eight squared minus eight point four squared. My eyes just not look too, too great these days. Root it. It's about fourteen point five five. We'll say. And then for y, 22.42 squared minus 8.4 squared, root it, 20.79, we'll say. Twenty point seven nine. you add it up. which is 35.43, is that right? No, 33, 34, you're right, 35.34, okay. So the area is easy. One half times 35.34 times 8.4. And um, see that plus that, Divide by two times eight point four. Yeah, about one forty eight point four. Now that is a bit roundabout. I mean, it's not terribly efficient. There is more efficient way, trust me. <laughs> so, but yeah, I had to do like some trick, some Pythagorean theorem. I could have done lost signs and maybe solved for the missing sign, like the A B and the other angles. I could have done that too. So a lot of different ways I could have done this. Um but bottom line is I use plane geometry, right? I drop the altitude. Here is one half times base times height. Call along the sides of base. Found this altitude which is perpendicular, which is CD, right? You know, did some math, some, some little basic trig, a little bit of Pythagorean theorem, I got the answer right. But it's not really the most ideal way to do this problem. Because um, apparently, I guess there is also a second possibility. There's actually another... Um, triangle it could be but i'm not gonna worry about that right now i'm just gonna let's not worry about the second scenario let me tell you the formula we're gonna use instead there's actually a more efficient way for doing this problem and then here's a more efficient way one half times a b times sine c or one half times b c times sine a or one half times AC times sine B. So essentially you do this as part of an SAS case. So when you have um, an included angle, so here's um, A, B, and C, right? If I know these two sides and this angle right here, I can use this formula. This form is a way you can save time. And the reason why it works is because you're finding the height by doing the sine of it and multiplying by A, and then, multi then divide by the base. Sorry, then multiply by the base. So it makes your life a little easier to do this problem. Now, we didn't have sine angle side to begin with for the previous example. So maybe I could have done a lot of signs and figured it out. But that's going to be a way we can streamline this process, make this much easier. So I, I purposely did example one in a more laborious fashion. So it makes you appreciate this formula more. The way the example is not how I want you to do it. That's maybe what you did in algebra, sorry, in geometry a couple years ago. I really want you to do it this way. they use this formula. It's really simple. And I'll give you the formula, by the way. I'll give it to you. So you don't have to uh, memorize it. And again, why it works. It works uh, really quickly. I'll write this down, but here's why it works. That's H. That's A. That's B. And that's theta. What's sine theta, guys? H over A. What's H? A times sine theta. What's area of a triangle? One half times base times height. 
what's your height? A times sine theta. Boom, there you go. That's why it works. That's why it works because it's just using basic slope total rules. So for this case here, that's 124 degrees right, right here, right? That's angle C. This is little a, little b. Therefore, this is going to be 4m and 16m. So what I'm going to do? Area equals what? One half times uh, 16m times 4m times cosine of 124 degrees. And you work it out. You should get 32m squared It was Friday afternoon and I'm tired. That's why. <laughs> Sorry, it's sign. My bad. My apologies. <laughs> Thank you for catching that mistake. My apologies, guys. Yes, it should have been signed. Um, and what's sign 124? Uh, sign times 32. Yeah, you get 26.5. 26.5. And there you go. That's it. It's that simple. It's just as long as it's side angle side, right? If it's not, then we have to probably do some work to find it. Questions? No? Okay. This is our last one, and we're done with the notes. Um, oh, I guess those M's were units. Oh, it was meters. Whatever. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I thought it was like a variable. Okay. Yeah, I'm tired. It's Friday. All right. <laughs> Let's do one more here. So here you got an obtuse angle, right? We'll call it angle B. The side opposite is 21. I'll call this, um, yeah, I'll call it A. That's 17. I'll call this C, and I'll call this about 39 degrees. So here's what I'll do. We don't have a side angle side case. I like to know what this angle is here. It would be nice to know that angle. So I'm going to start by doing this. Sine 139 degrees over 21 equals sine A over 17. Sine A And solve for angle A. Do you guys with me so far? All makes sense. Okay, cool. Um, so let's see here. Seventeen times sin one three nine. Divided by 21. So you have 0. 0.5311. One, one. And then we do inverse sine of that. I get 32.1 degrees. So what's angle C going to equal, guys? Just have to do this. What do you get, sorry? Perfect, thank you. All right, so you had to do a little bit of lost science, right? You had to do a little bit. 
just so you can find this, because why did I want this angle? Because the like, front only works by sliding the side. That board is good, we'll have A, B, side and favor, whatever, and side C. It only works on side and side. So this thing is probably it's not going to take on something. That is a computer, it's not going to take on this one. So I like, love using all sides to find both angles, then using the fact that all three angles are trying out to 180 to find the other angle. And now I can actually find my area. My area is going to be one half times 17 times 21 times sine, not cosine. Of 8.9 degrees. And that will give me the area of the triangle. And that will be it. So 0.5 times 17 times 21 times sin 8.9, 27.6 centimeters squared. And boom, there you go. There's your area. Okay. All's good? Yeah. All right. So homework, very simple. Um, there's um, just a bunch of problems here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just one through eight. The answer kids are up in school, Gene. We don't get to all what? Two or five? Okay. So well, if you want to get pretty dense, you can. But again, it's not due until Tuesday, so and there's no football games on Sunday. I don't know. So maybe it's a blessing that <laughs> Paul's scheduled when it was. I stopped.